You know, this is a really good concept of, you know, getting stoned, which then you get hungry, and then you go to eat. So which, is, which is basically what stoners we really do, you know what I mean? And right? it's something we, you know, we love to do. We enjoy to do it, you know what I mean? But this is, this is really, really great. What up, y'all? We're back, and we're bringing you back another fucking high-tastic fucking episode of High and Hungry. I'm driving very much like the old school days, keeping that old school, take it easy. <laughs> but uh, the one thing I wanted to fucking say is that, man, this is the second episode that we're bringing you some fucking heaters as in regards to a special guest. We got a dope restaurant in the city of Glendale. Yeah, that's right. They got, they got more stuff there than the Glendale Galleria. And uh, also, uh, what is it, uh, you know, we got a special guest. And not only just a, any special guest, we got a special guest from the fucking mighty, mighty Cypress Hill. Yep, that's right. Also, uh, for all the merch, there's a lot of new fucking merch. There's a lot of new fucking merch. Oh, shit. It's a tunnel. <laughs> I always do that at the tunnel. Uh, there's also a whole lot of new fucking merch. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> that has dropped on the website. <coughs> T-shirts are dropping this week. <coughs> Since you motherfuckers have been uh, waiting for it for a while. Also, uh, stickers are finally up. Snacks are fucking restocked. I try not to have the same shit or the other, the, the kind of shit that you see in regular stores. And uh, shout out to you guys for supporting. Uh, everybody still, in case you haven't caught up to the way I hook you guys up. Everybody who goes on the website gets blessed up with some fucking... Epic shit, B-Rail CDs, Free Funky, you could just Free Funky filters, books, whatever the fuck you uh, buy, you could be buying two stickers. You'll get more than what you pay for. So that's at highandhungry.shop or flavorsbyezone.com. Now, what kind of food you think we're going to be eating today? It's fucking Cuban food. I'm not even I'm not even too familiar with Cuban food. I think I only ate Cuban food once last time with my old co-host. And, uh, you know, it was a good spot, but I don't think I got... I didn't get the fucking, the kind of treatment I get when I fucking bring a special guest in there. And yeah, C-minus is not here with us because he's riding with the special guest. He wanted to be all bougie. He's like, I'm older, dude. We're both older. I heard Eric Bobo talking about germs on the fucking airplane and shit. They got a license the fuck out of this place. We're fucking here in the city of Glendale, borderline Burbank, right? Yep, it's we're, right on the border. We're right in front of the place where uh, they film Superbad, you know, the liquor store where he uh, uses the fake ID and shit. McLovin. And uh, yeah, McLovin uses the fake ID. And uh, right across the street is fucking delicious ass Mambo's Cuban Cafe. It's cool. I, you know, I didn't know that they had the Run DMC kind of logo. I like that. I was and just I, like, I matched with the hat too. I was like, oh <laughs> yeah, coming yeah, in there. It's tight. And we do got a fucking special guest in the house. We have the one and only Eric Bobo from Cypress Hill, what to up, say the what least. Up, what up? This man has such a fucking epic resume, as you guys may know, and never misses a fucking beat. And he finally joined us over here. And first of all, I don't, I don't know if you're Cuban or not, dog. Are you? Uh, Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican descent. You like Cuban food? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, Puerto Rican food and Cuban food is almost like interchangeable, bro. You got a favorite dish? I love, like, fucking roba vieja with some black beans and rice mm -hmm. and platanos maduro. You know, that's the sweet, yeah. the sweet ones. Mm -hmm. Some people, they like the tostones, which is like the fried ones. I don't like those too much. I don't really fuck with those too much. But the sweet ones, all motherfucking day. Yeah. We all up in there. You put a little crema on them? You know, some people do. I, I just do it plain. I just do it like that, and so it's so, OG. And then I have some Malta What's with Malta? that. Malta is like, uh, it's oh. a malt. It's a malt. It's a non alcoholic malt. And, you know, for us Puerto Ricans and Cubans and shit, you know what I mean? We're like raised on this shit. Like, my mom would put that shit in a bottle and whip an egg in it. I heard that. I heard you about know, that. You know, make it like a ponche. And fucking nutritious, man. Yeah, it's called Malta. Damn. Hey, I mean, you can't go, if you go to a Cuban restaurant, or Puerto Rican restaurant, and they don't have any Malta to drink. Shit, it's not real, dog. If, they have, not, if they have it here, I'll probably 
Yeah, right. if they don't have it here, I'm gonna have to I say mean, I don't you, have you to know, walk out. I have to walk out. Shit would be going down. So a lot of people they go they they, they go and, and come here. Yeah. And shit like that. Because you know, you have a few Cuban restaurants out here in LA. But not but, many of them are authentic, huh? No, no, not many of them. And uh, this one is like right here, borderline Glendale Burbank. And it's been here for a while, bro. It's been oh, here for yeah. a while. Yeah, I used to come eat here uh, when I worked at Power 106, which is here in Burbank as well. But this was one of our spots we'd always go to and eat. Like, and it, I remember it being bomb. Have you been di have you been uh, dining out uh, prior to that? Like prior to this? Um, I've only dined out twice, and it's been since I've been back in LA. Uh, and it's been just a weird experience because you know it's like. The places that have had to adapt, some of them they have the partitions and shit that you know. We got a sanitation station san every, everywhere, and, and like you're skipping a table and shit like that, and the you know you you're getting like plastic utensils and things like that. They don't give you like refills in the same glass. They, I, you know, what I mean, yeah. it's like it's a crazy, it's crazy shit. This weekend we went to eat at Big D's Burgers, which is a place that we've. Uh, had a high and hungry before and they were like full on open but there was there was only like a few of us in there and i think they have a capacity so there was like a couple inside and then we ate outside and we were the only ones there right all right so all right. it's just people are you know it, it's it's a risky time to do something that used to be so normal to go out and sit down and eat we get to showcase something that probably people don't know about this like what about next time there has to be a concert and people watch this show and they're like yo he likes malta we're gonna fucking have that in his right and what do they call it with the shit the writer we, the writer yeah we're gonna have that in his writer automatic you know what i mean this because we try to highlight different stuff uh from some people's favorites uh you know artists that they don't really see because like you don't know people don't know what the fuck be real eats yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we found out apparently he likes burgers when i first met Sen and uh the first show we did uh they were open up for the beastie boys i was playing with the beastie boys um we were in miami and there was a Cuban place that was like a couple of blocks away from the venue. So me and Sen went to go eat there. It was a real typical Cuban place. We had Manta, we had all that shit. And, you know, so we bonded over some Cuban food. And I tell you, man, we, we went ham on that. We went ham. Destroyed it? Destroyed it. Shout out to, you know, what's going on. We get that treatment like that guy Fieri used to get. But we're the only ones in the this, restaurant type this, shit. This is cool, man. Right? We yeah, got I love it. Eric yeah. Bobo here. What are you drinking, dog? This is the stuff we talked about when we were getting high? Yeah, yeah. This is a uh, Manta. A Manta Tue. It looks uh, like soda. It's, it's a malt. And it's a, an acquired taste. A lot of people that they try it, it's like, how can you drink that shit? When you grow up with it, you know, it's just natural. You know, I take drink this like soda, six pack won't last a day. Do you, or, you know, do you drink beer? No, no, not, not anymore. Oh, okay, anymore. so it's, man, this is... So it's, but this is non-alcoholic, you know? But, like, when I was a baby, you know, my mom would put an egg in there, and I whipped that shit up, like, you know, I put it in a ponche, and then put it in a bottle, and I was, like, That chilling. just sounds like a Rocky Balboa drink. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, it, it's camping. definitely good. Well, so this is, <laughs> like, Rocky used to drink yeah. eggs in that movie. I'm, I don't know where this comes from, but, uh, it says, si maneja no tome. He said, Toma, Tome Mate, Ma. That's what it says. Um, I guess this is what it's called. It's called Yerba Mate Soda. I, I, you know, I fuck around with the exotic, so I want to try this. Man, that shit is fucking good, dude. I haven't, I haven't had it because I don't. I try not to have that, but that shit tastes like a pineapple and some yerba got mixed in there. We're actually going to be trying some dishes that... Uh, are you very unique to this spot? Like they, they're, they're very, they're known for having the only sandwich that uh, I guess is made with tostones instead of bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, in case you guys don't know, those are the fried tostones we were talking about earlier. And I don't like them by themselves, but with a steak, I'm, you know, I'm you excited go. about it. Yeah, yeah. We got an appetizer too, tostones rellenos. And I've had chiles rellenos, but I want to see what this is about. Yeah, then, I've never had, I've never had that either. When you guys go on tour with Cyprus, are you the one that chooses usually the spot to go eat? You feel like you're you're very knowledgeable of like the way they explain the dishes and stuff, man. Uh, you know, or at no, least you know a good spot. You know, I don't know a good spot. And if there's a city that, like, I know that there's a good spot, I say, yo, we need to get from this spot right here. You okay, know, yeah, we need to do that. But you know, for the most part, you know, I let them do their thing. But 
you know, sometimes you got to like put your foot down and say, yo, I know this spot. Like, no, we're going here. We need to go here. You know what I mean? I feel like you, you, yeah, you're very detailed when you describe a lot of the dishes that you're saying. So I'm just like, man, I would, I would definitely be like, go. Oh, but this is one of my favorite foods, you know, with, you know, Cuban food, and you know, this is on the same level to me, like Japanese food or you know, uh, Italian food. And so like, I, I love those. That was those, my second guess. I was like, if I could get. Italian. I love, I love that. So um, yeah, I just try to. You know, what do you like to eat when you're high? When I'm high, like and it's different. <laughs> you know like what? If you could have anything. What do so, you like to eat with your man, it's different. There's different levels. You know, I mean, you know, when you're like so hungry from being stoned that anything goes. Yeah. You know, and that could be a mistake. You yes. know, what I mean, you can make a, a bad choice with that. Ooh, but uh, I like that. I like how we're doing. Like you know, that, so you can kind of like so eat a little bit. If you're getting those little like little bite-sized things like yeah. this. They, you know, they're faking the funk. Yeah. They need to be big, like this one, like right here. That's a that's a lot of bola. That, like, man, you eat about four of those, you're straight. It's like a matzo ball. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, man, it's good, though. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God, dude. You see what I'm saying? Y'all share the, y'all share the other one. Okay. And that bread looks like it's hot. You know what I mean? So we, Hell yeah. Yeah, to make that little tapas. Oof. Look at that, I mean. I'm telling you, man. Look at that. Look at that cut. That cut was so good, so clean and crisp. And you I like the commentary by Eric Bobo. You have fucking, like, I did it, dude. style right there. Isn't I know, it? dude. It didn't fall apart. All right, let's see what's up with these right here. Okay, man. Uh, buen provecho. This looks like real mashed potatoes, not, like it's not cut. Oh, man. <laughs> see what's happening? That has a crunch of like a fresh, well done corn dog. You know what I mean? With the batter when it's all crunchy. Oh, wow. But then it melts right with the mashed potatoes start settling in. Yeah, it just, yeah, it really does melt together. You got Once the you identify what everything is, like it's, this is, woo. This is authentic. This is real deal shit right here. Can I see this for I mean, this, this, like, <laughs> these kind of dishes are like, you try these when you go to like a Cuban restaurant, like, make sure if these shits are not tasting good. There's a problem, you know what I mean? And this is like the, the intro starter kit to, uh, to keep it yes. mm -hmm. I mean, this is, this is, this is, I fuck around with this right here. I guess, oh yeah, I can see why Portos kind of has this, but they're nowhere near what this is right here. But they, Porto, they, that's Cuban as well. It is, but. But, but, but they, you know, they, they used to be that size. But then over the years, that shit got smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. These are the croquetas, and that's with the uh, jamon. In there, yeah. that's really, it's really good. I'm gonna get some of this. Yeah. Just to see what's good. You never had that. I one? haven't had that one. That's not. They said it was chorizo. So it looks like pepperoni, right? Yeah, that looks like some pepperoni, but it ain't. Oh damn! Look, there's juice dripping out of this. You see that? That drip. Ooh. Yeah. Let me get some of this on your own, right? Okay. See that so, yeah. I think about, I think. Would you Cuban, try the pepperoni? <laughs> Cuban food is like, it's gotta be flavorful, you know? You can really get all the flavors. I'm gonna try they're, this. They're legit, they're legit here. Try this. God damn, that is nowhere near close to the pepperoni. This is some air fryer. It looks like a pepperoni, but when you bite it, that is, god damn. You know, some <laughs> of the dishes that you're seeing here, is this some stuff that you would eat with your family? Like with yes. your dad and stuff? Yes. I guess I'll try it after. yeah. Like what was something that your dad liked eating? I mean, the panelitas, uh, the croquetas, papa de llano. Um, my mom cooked also a lot of like, she, she was a great cook. She's a great cook, so. Uh, a lot of our foods, like I was saying, like Puerto Rican style and Cuban style, they kind of mesh together a lot, interchangeable. So my mom was able to cook stuff like this and also able to cook like more typical Puerto Rican style food, you know, but the basis is like rice and beans and meats and things like that, and fried stuff. So would this be like a like a place where you'd, you'd go oh, oh, yeah. out with your pop oh, or yeah. something? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's, that's legit right there. It's like, because yeah. you don't... Imagine, you know, your dad being more old, 
being more old school. They like they're from that generation where it's like they don't like wasting time. You know what I mean? They like they'll stick to something that they know is good and like fuck trying new you, shit. You would have been on this like my mom too. You know, this is legit. This is legit. What do you think of this? I haven't tried it. I'm trying to. What is this song? It's called there. This is a croqueta de jamón. It's a ham croqueta. It was delicious. Damn, you like fucking inhaled that, huh? See? That's what I was Maybe. saying. It's like he, you know, we were talking and he didn't say one word. Oh my god, he's like a Cuban egg roll, except like it's way, it's not vegetarian. <laughs> like At this all. is. But it's delicious. This is. It's it's like bacon bits inside of it. Mm-hmm. Like bacon bit pate. Little drip. Well, here we go with this. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> mm hmm. Golly. Ooh. Mm hmm. Oh, my God. That is. See what I'm saying? I could fuck up, fuck up like a good six of those. If I was really hungry, I wouldn't eat for two meals. You know what I mean? I would eat around 11 to, to 1 o'clock and fuck up four or five of these. Like I said, that, that, that box, that take home box. <laughs> a really good thing right now. <laughs> and they would be like, hey, you know what? I think B-Roll's hungry too. And they show up and be like, yeah, I just took something, B. <laughs> like, not even give it to him. All right, we got the tostones rellenos, as uh, you were describing. This looks very delicious. This is like kind of a, uh, it's like you said, a cupcake? Yeah, yeah, it's like a cupcake. I'm going to take the avocado off because I'm not really an avocado guy. Damn, you're like the first person that has something against avocado. I mean, yeah, yeah, we don't really get along too well. <laughs> we've had, you know, we've had, we've had problems over the years, you know, so. I actually didn't used to like avocado, he, but now it's like, no, he's all right. Now, now, you know, <laughs> avocado get put to the side, you know. <laughs> it get put, it get put to the side. You like guac, though? No, no, not at all. Oh, okay, so you, you straight just, fuck avocado all yeah, the way. Basically, yeah. Yeah, fuck sure. All right, so here we go. Damn. God damn. Oh shit. That is like a. If I could have these instead of cupcakes, I would have a heart attack. Cause I eat a lot of cupcakes, but if they're fucking bomb. This is bomb. This right here. Yeah. It's delicious. Again, this is not. I don't know this would be typical, but they 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 freak this. This is, this is amazing. I need to fuck around and eat another one. This is fucking gas. Oh, wow. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to put the lemon. Oh, the lemon changes everything on there, man. Oh, my God. It's like destroying the whole fucking lemon. This is a whole cupcake right here. Salud, y'all. You know, this is a really good concept of, you know, getting stoned, which then you get hungry, and then you go to eat. Which is, which is basically what stoners we really do, you know what I mean? And right? it's something we, you know, we love to do. We enjoy to do it, you know what I mean? But this is this is really, really great. Um, it's like, why, it's like we're going to take you someplace where you know it's going to be good. So, like, plus the fact that you're high makes everything taste even better. It's good. And you eat more than what you think you can. But this right here, the way they fucking sauteed that shrimp, they grilled it. Yeah. That's on point. I know I should have left this on the plate, but I'm in, I'm in a hurry <laughs> to eat this. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck around and try one of those too. Woo. All right, so I'm just good. being I'm just being real. Triple ramen platanos, dog. No. Some you like them just by themselves, right? Yeah. Some mm. people they put like. I like crema. Crema and stuff like that. It's like the ranch for the plata. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Man. <laughs> but we got like the main. I love the sweet ones. Yeah, yeah. the sweet ones. Sweet ones. Are the ones. Like yeah. Jamaican, they also do the mm -hmm. sweet, the sweet plantain. Plantain. Sweet plantain. Mm -hmm. Yo, this is one of their dishes that is actually very known for. Uh, that's they're actually known very well for this right here because they're the only place to have it. It's uh, pretty much a steak sandwich with the tostone and you got potato sticks which like, look like very very small french fries like they look like legit small ass mcdonald's french fries but they're very thin we're gonna have to cut this damn that goes i actually like this better than bread wow because it cuts really right good. through it cuts right through wow like butter damn. my piece somebody cut got that one in half you don't even 
know. I know what's in it. That's that shit. Shit. I gotta admit, like the it's a different consistency. I like the fact that it cuts like a lot easier. Cause you know, with stuff in it. I'm gonna take a bite out of this, see what this is about. It looks like carne asada meat. Oh, that's fire. Fire? Yep. <laughs> every meat, every bite should have a little meat on top. Okay. Let's see what's up here. Let's see what we got going here. This has got to be strategic. So this is a little fucking legit? My meat is really marinated well. Oh my god, yeah, you the meat, yeah. The, the meat is fucking marinated really, really well. Because, you know, platano is very, if especially, oh, those stones, they're very, like, it's like a potato. Almost, right, you know? right, right, right. And sometimes stuff that's very close to a potato, it's either the right mix or a bit overwhelming. It takes over it. This, you could taste the meat all throughout that, man. And that is perfect. That is delicious. It's just fucking perfect. Mm. All right. Oh, yeah. Fire, right? Damn, Loco fucked up those platinum dog. <laughs> oh. let, me, let me tell you, dog. He was not playing when he said he loves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is serious business right here. <laughs> <laughs> no four foes, trapped in four woes. <laughs> <laughs> Tipping on Popo. Man. He out here tipping on Popo. I said. You get high off the food as well. I said. Okay. Here we go. This is the salmon, brother. Oh, there you go. Wow, that looks. Wow. Hey, pollo and parisado. Oh, Thank you so much. I gotta, I gotta ask him. I gotta ask him one thing. I, I saw them that they used to have music here. Yeah. Pre-COVID. I was like, are those where all those uh, big musicians came from? Or like, yeah. This is like a. Who have you had here? Like, the, like we, 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 um, we try to keep jazz alive for as long as we can, especially Latin jazz, you know. Mm -hmm. And most of these cats here, they probably all played with Eric's dad. Most of them, they all know Eric since he was a kid. I was telling Eric a story outside of. Dave Garfield, who plays with Toto, um, keyboard player for Toto, he was telling me a story about Eric when he was a kid, where they would have a certain certain part of the set, well, they would bring him up as a kid, and Eric would solo on um, um, percussion when he was Damn. playing with uh, with uh, with Willie, when David was playing with Willie. That's crazy. Yeah. That's so crazy. it's kind of like it's it's a small world, man. It's everything's like. That's some history up in here, man. It's like it's. Yeah. it's it's a it's a crazy spot to have a, you would have live music right yeah. here, right? It but, was it was tight, but it was good because, you know, people would come in for for the musicianship, you know what I mean, yeah, and yeah. nothing else. And then they once we, they started tasting the food, then it was like, oh shit, I mean, yeah. reserve for we dinner also, yeah, you yeah. know. So, and um, like I said, you know, in the West Coast, it's it's not as as popular as it is in the in the East Coast for the Latin jazz, yeah. but. You know, these cats are the same cats doing the same sessions and everything else, you know what I mean, that played with his dad throughout the time. <laughs> Put Mimi's real quick. Oh, oh man, that's gonna be so good. That's yeah, good. you want one piece of this? I'll take a little, I'll take a little sliver. Yeah, yeah. You take it, give me a sliver. Yeah, I got you. I got you. All right, man. Wow. This, I like, see, look, I came with black man. Yeah, yeah. I got you, this is what I like doing. Oh. I like mixing it up. Ooh, yeah. okay. That's a perfect mix for me. Yeah, yeah grab some of this bubble. Oh boy, I want to try to try some of this. Oh, yes, 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 that's fine. That's perfect. You see? Yeah. That's how you do it. So it's done, son. Boom! Bada bing. You know what I mean? All right. I'm going to go ahead and fuck around with the salmon, man. This, he's. I love salmon. I love you a good salmon. And this is, uh, it looks, it looks very moist. Moist. God damn, that's funny. That is one delicious, savory salmon. The lemon complements it so well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
You fuck around. You like salmon? I love it. Have bread and chicken. I made sure to squeeze. You gotta say this salmon, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even speak English very well right now. Um, man, this is by far Why one of the best it? breaded chickens I've had. How crunchy is it compared to some fried chicken that we've had? Super crunchy. But it's, it's crunchy, but it's, it's like that good crunch. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. um, and the meat inside is super tender. Great egg. Hey, that's a... Um... Um, empanizado, the pollo. There you go. Oh, yeah. I'm about this life. We got the fucking tamal right here. It's tamal. Gotta get the little corner piece like it's a brownie pile. Look at how fucking. Look at that. This is the first time I ever seen a tamal with this consistency. It's like very. It, it's. It's molded together. Like it has like a lot of. Uh, you can tell it has a burst of flavor. The consistency is very, like, uh, kind of like the thing that had happened there. Oh, that's, damn. Is it working? It's like a tamal de lote, but like, with meat and stuff in it, like, cause usually I've had tamales de lote just by themselves, but the way it, ha it you could taste the corn, I've never, it's very rare to have the taste out of coming out the mouth. And it's not mm -hmm. like, it's almost like, uh, what's the stuff they put inside turkeys? Stuffing? A uh, stuffing. Yeah, but it's like a Cuban stuffing and like yeah, a tamale. Yeah. It's fuck. That's, wow. that's a, that's a burst of flavor within itself. And then the onions, you think it like, once you know the taste, you like corn with onions. Like, no, 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 no. You got to try oh, it. This, this is, is, yeah. Like, this is, legit, this is good bro. right here. This is legit. I will forever be able to tell the difference between a Cuban tamale and all the other ones for sure. <laughs> this is one unique one right here. Yeah, it's all different, but man, it's so good. But again, like with all like Latin food, it's all flavorful. It all have their own different flavor, but it's flavor all flavorful. So you have, you eat a couple of those, man. You good. I think just one. Oh, well, we might just be saying that because we're on tapas mode. Right, but man. Yeah, if you were hungry, you do too, for sure. How you like the breaded chicken, see? I love it. Beans and rice are on point. I haven't had one bad thing yet, to be honest. Now, this is like one of the spots that, like, I first, like, when, you know, dining is in full effect like that, I'd, I'd, I'd bring them up here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, a, it's an environment, like, like it's, I feel that she would feel, that she would like it real, it's just something different. You know, we have platanos in our Salvadorian food too. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it hits home. This is a, uh, fuck, you can get a salmon like this, especially this quality that you could also try all the traditional Cuban food. Yeah. That's a home run right there. It's yeah. really, you know what I mean? There's a reason that like, there's a curbside pickup going on and this hasn't stopped. I've been keeping an eye at the door and throughout this whole time we've been filming and it's been like 45 minutes, there's been at least like 10 plus people that have come. Like, oh, for sure. Hey, yep. what's up? And on my way to the bathroom, I even saw somebody telling the owner, it's like, hey, it's somebody's birthday. Thank you so much. The food made it, made it better. Like, this is the spot you want to come here if you want. Delicious. A Cuban, yeah. a Cuban, what is it? Cuban cuisine experience. That's what I would call it. What is this called? It's, it's rice pudding in English. It just doesn't sound like as good as arroz con leche. You know what arroz I mean? Like, arroz con leche like, sounds amazing. Like, I, I, went, I remember the, I knew Arroz Con Leche has made it when I saw them selling that at Disneyland. Yeah. I mean, I stopped, it's probably nowhere near, but I was like, damn, where you go, Arroz Con Leche, you made it. But this is an authentic dish right here. Very authentic. You got like a little fucking boat, like a banana split would come in. <laughs> you gonna do it? Oh, yeah, one. hell yeah. And it looks very fucking moist. They have moist. the cinnamon on top. It's moist. All right. Bam. Look at that. Look at it's that. It's like fucking it's cinnamon on top. With the motherfucking yep. cinnamon. It's like dessert mac and cheese. This yeah, is nim, nim, nim. yeah, this is like mac and cheese, like Hispanic cousin. It's but like dessert. it's like, yo, I'm dessert. Mac and cheese. I'll take it. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna no. get I'm not gonna go do shit at the studio for smoke real week. Hey yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. Oh Where yeah. you been? <laughs> <laughs> he missed out. He definitely missed out. Hey, it was about you today, Bobo. Oh, all right, man. <laughs> it was it was all about right. you today, Bobo. All right, all right. Much love, much love. This has been great. We had like six different things here. Man, we went in. We went definitely went in. But everything was good, bro. 
everything. Yeah, that, everything. this is a, this is something just like it's like a cherry on top. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, man, so uh, number one, I want to thank uh, you know the owner of Mambo's Cafe for uh, you know letting us come through here. And uh, it's a historic spot that has historic musicians that have played music here. And they got the authentic Cuban cuisine to match it as well. And uh, not only did we come in here and enjoy some of the best food here and unique food that they have, we brought a special guest. We brought Eric Bobo up in the house, who apparently, like all these other great musicians, is was known by the owner. <laughs> oh, something like that, man. That's how that's how you know that uh, you know, it was it was kind of meant to be. Yeah. And uh, man. You had a good time? Oh, it's great, man. Uh, I, I thank you. My stomach thanks you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's great. And thanks to Mambo Cafe. Y'all need to go and check this out. Please do. You really need to check it out. Come here and uh, have yourself some good-ass Cuban food. One of a kind, too. It's legit, yo. It's legit. Uh, we're going to check you out at Eric Bobo. And oh, yeah. You can check me out on uh, Eric underscore Bobo at IG. Eric Bobo at Eric Bobo on Twitter, um, Facebook uh, at Eric Bobo Music, uh, and I'm all over the place. You know, you'll see me on the Cypress uh, page, you know, posting stuff and, you know, got a lot of things going on in uh, post-COVID, you know. We uh, learned to adapt. Uh, yeah. yeah, man, make sure you guys uh, subscribe, put that thumbs up, I leave a comment. Uh, go to highandhungry.shop for all the merch. There's always new stuff up on there. And uh, if you're subscribed to our mailing list, you get a, a weekly discount for all the people that have been subscribing. So make sure you go ahead and uh, check that out. Uh, C-minus, you got anything, Papa? Uh, yeah, I'd like to say thanks to Nancy for helping out with this and you, uh, and, uh, and hooking it up. Also, I want to thank everyone that's been checking out the mixes on Twitch. And uh, you can follow me at C-minusfan4 at all the social medias. And uh, thank you once again to Mambos for having us because this is seriously one of the best meals I've had in the real. Everything is great here. We finished everything. 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 I'm yeah. taking some stuff home, and this is just. I'm you taking know. some stuff home. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the bubble got something to go. Yeah, yeah that's what you do. <laughs> like, like, that's how you know <laughs> this shit is banging, bro. I mean, you, you, I'm telling you, people still come, are coming up, they're getting food. You know, business is, is happening, man, so come on down. Come on down. Yeah, I added more hops to this. <laughs>